Let's get to these NA matchups because EU is pretty good, but the NA matchups are pretty insane. You got four 2-0 teams coming in to next week. And look at that. A lot of them are playing each other. Cloud9, <laughs> Echo Fox, both 2-0. 100 Thieves, Liquid, both 2-0. So it's going to be... Can any of these teams really go 4-0? I don't know. It's going to be a tough one to ask for. I think if you're really thinking who is going to have the chance, for me, it has to be Echo Fox. Strangely enough, I'm really thinking... It's a tough week, and man. If, if you told me this before, I would never have been thinking that Echo Fox would be 4-0 come week two. But I think that this is their chance. I think that you have a Cloud9 team, which has shown that they are strong. They're what I would probably put as the third team in North America coming out of week number one. And I think that when you look at Echo Fox and their roster, when we were talking about them before, our biggest concern wasn't that they didn't have talent, but was whether that talent was ever going to work together and how long they were going to work together. Well, we've seen right out of the gates that it is working. They're all very well synergized together and they're all cooperating on the rip, creating these long chase down plays and getting the kills uh, right here in this clip. Actually, you're not hearing it right now, but the comms that they have, it was great communication by them calling out the summoner spells that were missing, how to engage on these dives. Really well done by Echo Fox, something that I think that they can take into this week two and propel them to this, where then they take on their second matchup is gonna be against TSM, someone who I expect to be improved this week, get a better read on the meta, but I still think Echo Fox has a chance to jump on them this early in the split and get out to that 4-0 start. Whew, I mean, that would be quite a statement by them if they knock off Cloud9 and TSM. You're seeing SKT Hooney here, man. Undefeated. Listen, Hooney is, for the uh, overreaction in the first week of the day. Obviously, he's the he's the best top laner in it. <laughs> he showcased that in week one. Him and Sunday, someday, were absolutely dumpstering people. Oh, but, yeah. uh, I mean, yeah, this Echo Fox team did have a much better start and looked super solid, better than I was expecting. But we'll see how they go against some of these top-tier competitions. I, I definitely think they're capable of taking one of these games. Maybe two, but, I mean, those are tough matchups. I see them probably going 3-1. I, I can't see TSM going 0-2 again. It's it's really hard to believe that. 0-2, oh, you think TSM's gonna lose to Optic? I, no, <laughs> I, the Echo Fox match? I think <laughs> I think TSM will probably win both games this week or at at worst go one and one, mm -hmm. win that Optic game and lose out to Echo Fox. I feel like Liquid has the best chance of going 2-0 and heading into this week, but really for any of these teams, it's gonna be tough because they're almost all playing each other. But uh, Liquid gets underway against 100 Thieves, I think, is their first game. And, I mean, Liquid struggled a little bit against Optic. But I feel like even when they were behind or it was pretty even, you were like, I mean, I feel like Liquid's going to win this game. You just have that feeling and you know that that's a solid team. Yeah, for the like most that. part, when you were watching how Liquid was moving around the map, you felt pretty confident moving into any zone, any team fight, that Liquid was going to be the ones coming out on top. I think there was maybe only one real moment that I could look back in that Optic game, maybe that team fight where Arrow wasn't quite there yet for Optic that I thought, hey, maybe that if you know Arrow was there, maybe they turned that around. Other than that, I didn't see any other real team fights that Team Liquid didn't look like they had the upper hand throughout and come out on top. Team Liquid is a very impressive team and you can and you can tell that synergy and that cooperation that they built during that Korean boot camp before everyone else had started to work together has really paid off for them and it's really shown so far this early split. Yeah, and it helps that they already had a bunch of synergy with four of the five guys having <laughs> right. played together before in some capacity. But uh, yeah, that, that mac their macro game against Optic and that game winning flank that they had with double lift flashing over of all people to kind of set up that flank. They just, there was no panic even when it was a close game or they were slightly behind against Optic. Their team fighting seemed super solid. And I mean, this is early on, very early on, the team to beat in NA. And I don't know if they will go 2-0. I, I feel like they'll probably go 1-1 one one again. It's, it's tough competition. I can't see any teams really getting that many 2-0 weeks going forward. It's definitely going to be interesting, and I think that one of the things that might propel Team Liquid, if they're possibly going to get to this 4-0 uh, position, is going to be double it. You know, their AD carry star has really shown up here early so far in the spring split. Very motivated performances from him, and he's one of actually only a handful of players that still has not died yet. So this is a guy that I can see really carrying Team Liquid to a 2-0 week possibly.
Bjergsen also hasn't died. <laughs> yeah, but hold on. Too. Doublelift has not been flamed out by the Reddit community, oh, okay? And also Doublelift hasn't played Zareth, so there's that. He should try it. 80 carries Zareth. I've played a few times. That's it's not a lot, bad. It's a lot of poke in the bot lane. Yeah, it's not bad. Uh, the other 2-0 teams, Cloud9 and 100 Thieves. 100 Thieves we haven't talked about. Um, they looked... They struggled against Optic in that opening week, and you were like, oh boy, maybe, maybe 100 Thieves aren't that solid. But then that second game against CLG, they looked very dominant, and they just... They camped bottom lane. They got, um, they got Cody Sun and Aphromo ahead, and they really just snowballed out of that bottom lane. They got the first turret down there. They got two dragons, and I think they got lucky. They were two infernal dragons. So they look pretty solid, actually. I've been really impressed with what I've seen from 100 Thieves. As you mentioned, that first game against Optic, I was a little bit worried because I was someone who came into this season thinking 100 Thieves really can show us something and really possibly be uh, a special team to show the talent that they have. But that first game against Optic, I had a little bit of concerns. They weren't, you know, totally crushing a team that I figured would be lower down the list. But then, yeah, absolutely, that game against CLG was what I really wanted to see against uh, see from 100 Thieves. They were really working together, really synergized well. That bot lane of Cody Sun and Afromu, I really think has the potential to grow a lot stronger. And then when you talk about the communication on this team, it's only going to get better. Sunday has really committed himself to learning the English language, and you can see that improve throughout the team's communications, and something that really, you know, when you look at his performance and you see all the amazing plays he makes, wow, that's great, those plays and his communication and shot calling skills are only gonna get better. I think that this is a team to really be investing in. I think that this is the team. I wanna buy in on 100 Thieves. You wanna spend 100? 100 bucks Grand. on 100 Thieves? 100 bucks on 100 Thieves? Um, no. But I would actually, you know what, pennies. but I would spend $100 on one of those really cool baseball jersey and red camo sweater combos. I want one I'm of those. sold on the baseball jerseys. See, I, we've talked about sold. this, and I think, I think for, I don't know, the color scheme might not work with the baseball uh, jerseys, but I think the baseball jerseys have worked in the past. Afrika Freaks rocked them before with the white and blue pinstripes. I like it. Nate Shot, hit me up. Yeah, we'll throw one on. Uh, we'll throw one on Daphne over there if you see yeah. one. Even if I don't like the baseball jerseys, Daphne will love them. <laughs> Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more esports content.